and since goes together i have been playing cricket since 20 years i have been playing football since 10 years is getting it this has been have been had been and since go together reading fill in the blanks is always a nightmare for me i'm not able to solve it confidently within two and a half minutes sometimes it takes five minutes sometimes it takes four minutes perhaps i'm lacking that grammar shortcuts if i get an access to that wealth of knowledge i believe i can solve reading fill in the blanks reading writing fill in the blanks much more faster well if you belong to this category then trust me today's video is exclusively for you guys because I have summed up all the grammar into 20 grammar shortcuts that one needs to know if you are a PT aspirant. Make sure you watch the video till the end. Hey everybody, Nakul from Skills PT Academic. I'm back with it, another video. Today's video is all about grammar shortcuts. I know I've made many grammar videos, but today's video has everything summed up with 10 plus 10, 20 grammar shortcuts exclusively for you guys. So without wasting any time, let's start with it. But before we get into the video, if not subscribed to this channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. Yes, I repeat, please do click on the subscribe button for the hard work that we are putting every two days once we're making very useful content like this for all of you. And if want online assistance any point of time, you can text us to the number given that it's WhatsApp number. You can WhatsApp us. We will guide you, help you in a right direction. All right, so let me just share my screen. 20 shortcuts, grammar shortcuts to solve. Reading, fill in the blanks. Reading, writing, fill in the blanks. Here you go. Let me just quickly go through all the 20 shortcuts. Explain you the shortcut and then give you two questions, five marks each and ask you, implement and show you how these 20 shortcuts can be implemented in the reading, fill in the blanks and help you understand how quickly you can solve reading, fill in the blanks in less than 20, 30 seconds. All right, the very first shortcut is after the verb to, the word rather, the word rather, to, or can, could, shall, would, my, must, may, shall, ought. If there is a blank, it will be verb one. What is this verb one? Eat is a verb one. Eight is a verb two. Eaten is a verb three. Present tense, past tense, past participle. Present tense of the verb only will come. This city has to offer many places not offered offer mr david likes to sing not a song singing sang sung no after two what one only will come in your reading fill in the blanks if there is two can would must may shall should ought and if there is a blank go to that option which is verb one in it easy peasy we'll quickly move on to the second one this is called subject verb agreement if you want to score good in your reading fill in the blanks then trust me this is the guy you cannot no leave behind this guy this is the guy trust me he eats they eat if there is a singular noun the verb will have s in it he is a singular she eats it gives if there is a plural noun they then the verb will retain no yes can be added pay more attention remember this he eats they eat he eats they eat the cities is plural it's they eat offer the restaurant singular he it's singular rather it's he he eats offers yes has to come this hold good in the present tense don't forget this is the guy if there is a noun plural and there is a dash your eyes should only go to that option which has verb one in it if there is a singular noun and if there is a dash in the present tense your eyes should only go to that option which has verb with s in it easy peasy remember this please keep a notebook take some notes so that you can revise them quickly you don't have to forward the entire video later you can revise them quickly with the notes please kindly take the notes the third one is one of the classic examples in your reading fill in the blanks, reading, writing fill in the blanks, write from dictation, listening fill in the blanks, summarize spoken text, essay, this is used because everywhere people have problems with this. One of my friend, uh, one of my friends, one of the restaurant, one of the restaurants, one of the always ends up in plural noun. This is one of the great places, not placer. So after one of the, if there is a dash, it should be a plural noun, noun with S. Remember. One of the dash nearby is one of the restaurants nearby, one of the hospitals nearby. Yes has to be there after one of the, remember this, remember this, remember this. Fourth one, one of the 
always leads to singular entity. Nakul, I am getting confused. You just told one of the is always ending with plural. Yes, one of the restaurants. But how many restaurants are one? Na? It's one among the many. So one of the restaurants is good, not are good, because one of the restaurants, one of the something is always a singular entity. It is like, pay more attention. He eats. He is. They are. Just getting it? Now they eat. Remember this. So one of the great places is like he. One of the great places. Dash new experience. He eats. One of the great places offers, not offer. What people write? Places is plural. It's like they know here. One of the great places is always a singular entity. One of my friends is coming or not? One of my friends are coming. Remember this. Understand this carefully. Do leave a comment if you have any doubts on this. One of the ends in a plural noun. But the entire entity is always singular. One of the place wrong. One of the places. But one of the places is good not are good one of the places one of the restaurants one of the friends one of the hospitals all these are a single entity so it will be he now he eats one of the places offers because one of the great places is one place only hope you are getting it hope you are getting it don't get confused rewind the video and watch it it's something really really important okay we go to the Fifth one. After noun, if it's in the past tense, if there is a dash. A verb 2 will come, man. See here, in the 18th century, long, long, long ago, 300, 400 years back, in the 18th century, this king dashed many empires. This should be verb 2, ruled many empires. So decimated means, chak, chak, chak. Decimated. This is wrong. Decimates is also wrong because it's 18th century long time back decimated verb 2 will come remember this rule hey, these verbs are uh, really good man you can solve them like this you need to know this verb concept in our grammar course this tenses itself is one and a half hour close to uh, the video course so that's what so when, whenever you want to you know have an online assistance paid assistance you can text us if you don't want then watch this diligently carefully you will understand a lot of stuff still all right fine the sixth one after has have had verb three will come now it gets little tricky uh, because after has have had a lot many things can come the king has killed many rural rulers not to kill now the king is the doer king has killed after has Killed cannot come. So it has to be verb 3. Kill, killed, killed. Eat, ate, eaten. The king has eaten. Have eaten. Had eaten. Verb 3 only will come if there is a blank after has or have or had. If you see verb 3, go with it. No need to read. But there are some challenges. Uh, we will see. After is, was, were, am, are. Then also verb 3 can come. The king has killed. The cat is killed. King, pay more attention, has killed. Now, after has killed can come, after he is also killed can come. The cat was killed. The cats were killed. I was killed. I am killed every day. He is getting it. After he is, was, were, am, are, verb 3 can come. This is passive voice. Now, active voice, passive voice, if you ask me, that itself is 1.5 hour chapter. But remember this will come handy. Definitely yes. So the kingdom is ruled. Verb 3 will come, not rule. Go to that option which is verb 3 if you see a blank after is. After is a uh, was, were, am, are. How am I remembering this is? He is, he was. They are, they were, I am. That's how I'm remembering. First person, second person, third person. Just speak. He is, he was, I am. I was. They are, they were. All the five will come. Verb ing can come. Just now we saw verb three can come after this, but they are running. He is running. He is singing. Ing can also come. The kingdom is offering many picturesque places. Hope you are getting it. The previous one is the kingdom is ruled. Now here the kingdom is offering. He is killed. He is eating. ING can come, verb 3 can come. ING can come, verb 3 can come. ING can come, verb 3 can come. Remember this. 
Rule number nine after has been, have been, had been. Verb ing can come. After has, have had, verb three can come. We just saw that, right? He has killed, he has eaten. Has been, have been, had been, verb ing can come. This is where it gets little confusion. Uh, don't worry, you'll understand. The patient has been waiting. He's been waiting. He's getting it. He has been waiting. He has been waiting since two hours. So this is a present perfect continuous tense or past perfect continuous tense. Tenses itself is two hour chapter. So has been verb ing. Most of the things remember it's either verb three or verb ing. That's the rule. Easy peasy. All right. So that's one of the things. Now tenth one after has been, have been, had been. We just saw verb plus ing. Verb three can come. He has been killed yesterday. Passive voice. Getting it? Ram killed Ravan. Ram has killed Ravan. Ravan has been killed by Ram. No previous line has been ing. He has been waiting. He has been killed. Verb three can come. So now the this patient has been dash injection by doctor. This morning he has been has been verb three. Given is verb three. So it's basically verb three or ing. Remember this. Remember this. Golden rules for PT grammar. All right. Eleventh one after has been, have been, had been. <laughs> now cool. I am getting confused. You said after has, have had, is, was, uh, am, are, were, has been, had been, have been, had been eating, had been killed. Verb three verb by ing. Adjective can come in. Now cool has been good to you guys, isn't it? Has been good. Has been bad. Is getting it. The doctor has been dash for me. The doctor has been good for me. Hope you're getting it. So now adjective can also come. What I'm showing you is all the possibilities. The premium tips are here. So when you implement them, be wise enough to choose out of these 20. One of them will fit in. Not all. After has been, 11th is also after has been. Correct? 10th is also after has been. 9th is also after has been. So you need to know. Should I apply 9th one, 10th one, 11th one? That's implementation. This will take some time. Hope you're getting it. All right. So now after has, have, had, been. <laughs> cool. Has been, have been, had been will come in my dreams today. Yes, it has to. It will come for me many days. Every day it comes. And since goes together. I have been playing cricket since 20 years. I have been playing football since 10 years. Is getting it? This has been, have been, had been and since go together. This doctor has been monitoring me for or since. Uh, answer is since, uh, not for. Remember this preposition rule. Uh, the doctor has been since. I have been since. Golden rule, Nakul. I am understanding. Thanks so much. Correct? Golden rule. In your reading, writing, fill in the blanks, all, this, all these things will be there. Trust me on this. All right. So, 13th one. After ye or an, singular noun comes. An apples cannot come. An apple. A boy, he went to a place which was very exciting. Pay more attention. Ye, oh, place, not places. But rule number 14, hold on for it. It's even more exciting. If there is no ye or an with a noun, then it's a plural noun. He went to, see, 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 pay more attention. If you pay more attention, you'll understand. This is called a reverse psychology. He went to a place. Ye is not there. He went to places. So, Remember this, he went to place. This is wrong grammar. This people don't understand. I ate apple, wrong grammar. Hope you're getting it, hope you're getting it, hope you're getting it. This is what I would want you guys to know. And this is what we actually leverage this concept and solve a lot of fill in the blanks. He went to place wrong, it is grammatically wrong sentence. A place, otherwise places. If there is no ye or an, for a countable noun, plural noun will come. He went to places which was very exciting. So using this, we can solve a lot many things. For example, listening, fill in the blanks. Yes, the sound is there or not? I'm getting confused. Apply grammar rule, man. Isn't it so? So grammar concepts will really, It's like money. You can spend wherever you want. You can spend in a pizza shop. You can spend in a dental checkup also. You can spend to your kids' education. Any, everywhere. The same as money, the grammar. You have the knowledge. You can spend it wherever you want. Just that you know, you need to know how to spend it. <laughs> Correct? Many don't know. 
All right, fifteenth one. After a verb, adverb follows. An adverb ends in l y l y l y. So there is a noun. There is a verb. He eats. How he eats? He eats quickly. The extension of a verb is adverb. He took a decision. Decision rather noun verb. How he took? He slowly took a decision. Hurriedly took a decision. Now adverb usually ninety percent of them end in ly. So ly has to come. Answer is hurriedly. Easy peasy. If there are so many options and only one with ly adverb, and you decided what adverb has to come. Put a blindfold and go to that adverb and put it. No need to read the context. Not applicable every time, but whenever there is scenario appears, you can solve that particular blank in less than a second. So few questions, difficult ones, you take five minutes. Few easy questions, grammar based ones, you take thirty seconds. So this way you manage the time, you balance them. Hope you are getting it. Don't ignore easy ones also. I take five minutes, then gone case. Hope you are getting it. All right. So it's not just that. Not just for a verb, even for an adjective, he is good. He is extremely good. He eats. He eats quickly. Quickly is here. Eats is here. He is here. He eats quickly. Noun, verb, adverb. He is good. How good is he? He is a noun. Good is an adjective. Adjective is to decide or define the character of a person. He is good. He is. Very good. He is extremely good. So now, city was outstanding. How was the city? City is beautiful. All these are a character of a city. This is adjective. The extension of an adjective is again adverb ends in ly. The city was spectacularly outstanding. Now you need ly. Guys, pay more attention. This is a noun. This is a verb. This is an adjective. Adverb comes for both. adverb comes for both and it ends in ly adverb has no connection with the noun it has a connection with an adjective or a verb so if you have a dash which is an extension for a verb or an adjective then blindfold yourself and go to that option which has ly in it if there are many ly's then you need to read the context if there is only one ly directly just put it trust me on this it works <laughs> all right 17th one either or leads to a singular noun either i choose this or that means one of them or not both so this either this or that refers to he he eats either this or that means one only it's singular either is friend or the family <coughs> either is friend or the family it's one of them it's like he eats either is friends or the family dash him something to breathe offer or offers hey, these kind of things will be there man trust me on this this is a noun the word either or the word or this decides it's one entity one entity is he nakul he eats i remember nakul by watching skill speed each channel now this is yes has to come nakul so answer is offers remember this the same way neither is friend nor is family offers because it's he subject verb agreement remember rule number 2 or 3 i told you this is the guy if you want to score more remember him because everywhere this guy appears if a sentence is ending what you should be putting full stop my name is nakul i teach pt full stop but they don't put a full stop okay no issues i put a correct uh, my name is nakul and i live in india no they don't want to put a connector also then use ing this is the rule this is the rule this is the rule remember there is lot of blanks will be based on this the policies given here are very stringent end of a sentence end of a sentence when put a full stop add a connector and continue then use ing dash to the fall of the government full stop it leads You don't want to put a full stop. Then leads has to be converted to leading. Remember this. Remember this. Remember this. <coughs> the policies given here are very stringent. End of a sentence, and you want to end it. You put a full stop and start with a noun. It or this leads to the fall of the government. You don't want to put that. Then you say the policies given here are very stringent, and 
it leads to the fall of the garment you don't want to put the and also then simply you cannot use a verb you have to use a gerund that's called verb ing remember this ing will come leading to the fall of the garment just pause the video just check gerund in the internet you will have more idea about what i'm talking about a lot of fill in the blanks especially reading writing fill in the blanks will be based on this you know it in advance within seconds you can clear otherwise you end up spending a lot of time and end up answering wrong only in the end because you don't have much knowledge about it 19 one after off usually non appears not all the time usually after off if there is a dash noun will come see there he went in search of car he went in search of peace he went in search of house he went in search of his lover he went in search of something something of uh, he went in search of peacefulness not peaceful peaceful is a character he is peaceful it is adjective it is good it is peaceful he went in search of peace the destruction of cities destruction of government destruction of country destruction of some noun has to come guys hope you are getting it not all the time but majority of the times after off the dash will be a noun okay great nakul thanks much we are understanding everything <laughs> okay and not so many of you do comment there saying thanks but i'm just you know reciprocating reciprocating your voice because i want to listen to them because we have put in a lot of efforts after apostrophe noun alone appears 100% i can write on a bond paper this i can guarantee you if there is an apostrophe in the exam and after that if there is a blank you have to choose a noun david's dash fell off david's girlfriend fell off david's earring fell off yeah guys wear earrings this day david's chain fell off david's stick fell off david some noun only will come because apostrophe indicate possession this thing is belonging to david david's earring some noun only will come 100% guaranteed you don't have to worry about it these are the useful techniques like this you know so many of them whatever is required i've summed up in this video giving you the exclusive video about all the grammar video but hold on hold on all the grammar shortcuts done it's like i gave you all the money you got all the money bank balance is huge but what is the use of just seeing bank plans balance oh very happy balance with no no you have to know how to spend it wisely i need to know how to double it a lot of many things are there that's called implementation so let's get up for the implementation i've got two question the very first question is here sorry before that professor's dash was very informative professor's lecture lecture is a noun this is the question i've got very first question i want you guys to pause the video and solve them try to solve it on your own but not using just the context but using grammar i'll just give you some clues try doing it after an noun will come singular after off a noun will come bona jane in oxford hawking is a singular noun subject verb agreement or verb to if it is a past tense after would first rule to can could verb one will come the most renowned become one of the one of the one of the nakul we know nakul plural noun so i have written everything now singular noun for the first one plural noun for the using grammar you can quickly do it man try doing it in 20 seconds if possible pause the video do it and see the magic yourself and once done please resume the video to understand my approach for it stephen hawking was an a or an singular noun scientist plural noun physicist done whose brilliance transcended the boundaries of after off noun should come after off a noun is a is not there in a kul if a is not there a plural noun propel a load showed no noun scientist is there limitations is there uh, boundaries of limitations may not boundaries of scientists we have lim some limitation but his intelligence went beyond it third one born on january 8th 1942 in oxford hawking dash a deep 1942 man um should be a past tense verb to verb to has to come verb to not verb s so this is past tense this cannot come propel is a verb one a load showed you show the deep interest you show the fascination so this is going to be three after would the verb one will come all the time verb one hundred percent sure propel is the verb one and one of the plural one of the most renowned scientists easy peasy easy peasy so first is um physicist this is four this is five this is three this is to let me recheck was an extraordinary physicist boundaries of limitations hawking showed and wood propel and one of the scientists easy peasy but 
trust me all the blanks will not be based on this even if some 10 12 blanks if uh, if they are based on this you can solve all those 12 15 or 10 to 12 to 15 blanks in less than each blank in less than 2 3 seconds not more than 1 minute for those 10 to 12 blank 45 to 50 blanks will the rest you take time and do it man these things don't take extra time quickly you can solve like this all right not just that keep a track of the mistakes we've done we go to the last question as usual i'll give you a clue apostrophe is there remember this apostrophe concept of no one has to come the concept of hawking radiation something and how black holes this is plural subject verb agreement verb they eat not heats and to convey complex dash a is not there so it should be plural <laughs> okay and his book became a wide worldwide bestseller end of a sentence Nakul. i don't want to put a full stop then use a connector i don't want to put a connector then you know what has to come try doing it please please try doing it pause the video do it and then resume the video to understand how to do it all right i am gonna help you do it just hold on the end of the video almost end of it after apostrophe noun should come hawking's dash on black holes revolutionary on our understanding hawking lectured is a verb making is a verb behave is a verb work is a verb thought is a verb adverb ideas hawking's ideas on black holes makes sense but work can also be a noun the work he works it can be both now hawking's ideas on black holes or hawking's work on black holes uh, this is little tricky what do we do we leave it empty and we continue his research on the singularity theorem and the concept of hawking radiation changed oh change is a verb i think i made a mistake before after off noun should come noun is already here changed as a verb extension of a verb is what adverb fundamentally ly is there this gonna be the second one in the beginning i said noun noun is already there change is a verb addition to a verb is adverb ly has to come all right so change your perception of how black holes dash this is a fact whenever there is a fact you're gonna put in the present tense how black holes is like they black holes is they they eat how black holes perception of how black holes work or behave you don't say black hole working it's behavior so this is gonna be three hope you're getting it beyond his scientific achievements hawking possessed an unparalleled ability to convey complex dash to convey a complex singular if a is not there it should be a plural to convey complex ideas no other things will fit in here a brief history of time became a worldwide bestseller end of a sentence use a connector put a full stop then use ing 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 making this you don't have to see it only one ing it will be the answer making profound concepts accessible to a wide range of readers then what is the first one ideas went for four then whoever wrote ideas for the first one fourth and first both are wrong so this is called bottom-up approach the many videos have done on the approaches watch them as well so here what is left hawking's work hawking's work on black holes revolution as yes his work on the black holes not the ideas he has worked on it his research and concept of hawking radiation fundamentally changed our perception of how black holes behave beyond his scientific blah 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 he possessed an ability to convey complex ideas complex ideas collocation a brief history of time uh, became a worldwide bestseller making profound concepts available accessible to you make something accessible to a wider range of readers so first is work second is fundamentally third is behave fourth is ideas and the fifth is making it may not be that straightforward every time but yes yeah, some questions become very easy some are little tricky but with that time you do it well and with us like this there are more than 5000 questions with the approaches given by me plus the live classes so anytime you need online assistance you can whatsapp us to the number given there we will be there i'll be there to help you guide you in the right direction fine guys with this we will park the video here really really hope all of you like this video if you really like the video give you a thumbs up with a like button and do leave a comment as to how you felt about the video and don't forget to subscribe our channel for the future notifications this is Nakul signing off from Skillspeedy very soon. We'll be back till then. Take care. Bye-bye.